In this video, I'm going to be talking about a few things you can do to try to come up with ideas, mainly for content creation and stuff like that, but really it could be anything, say it's a photo you want to take, or if you do art, something you want to paint, anything creative that you need to think of an idea in order to do it. And if you do any of those things, then you know that coming up with ideas can be really hard. And like sometimes it's even harder to come up with an idea for something than it is to do it for me. So a really easy thing you can do is anytime you think of something throughout the day that you think, oh, that would be a good idea for that, just write it down. Like there's no reason not to, and you know you're probably gonna forget it. And even if you don't forget it permanently, you'll forget it at least for a while. So just write it down in a notebook or something just so it'll always be there. You can always go back to it whenever you're like, oh wait, what was that thing I thought of before? That's honestly one of the easiest ways to come up with ideas for stuff. I don't really get random ideas a lot, but some people do. Another thing you can do is just watch videos or movies of people doing the thing you want to do. And I'm not saying like you can just sit down and watch a YouTube video and be like, okay, at the end of this video, I'm gonna have an idea, I'm watching this for inspiration. But you could just be like, okay, I'm gonna watch this, I might get an idea from it and I might not, but either way, I'm gonna learn something. So the biggest thing that I'm gonna say in this video that helped me come up with better ideas and just more ideas is writing down 10 ideas, brainstorming 10 ideas, whether they be trash or whether they be super good, just write down 10 and do that maybe like for three days in a row or just a couple times a week. And say you do it three times, you have 30 ideas and you look through all of them, there's probably gonna be at least 15 terrible ones that won't even work. But even if there are a ton of terrible ones, a few decent ones, there's gonna be at least a couple good ideas in there. And even though you're probably never even gonna think about using some of them, inside of those ideas you wrote down throughout the year, there's gonna be a ton of amazing ideas you can use. After you write them down, I would recommend choosing one you want to use using these steps. First, look at all the ones that you could do, all the possibilities. So this basically just takes out all the ones that aren't even in the niche of the thing you wanna do. And then out of those, take all of the ones that you actually want to do, the ones that you're excited to do, or you think you could actually enjoy doing. Then out of those ones you want to do, take the ones that you think would actually work, the things that would bring in results if you're making a video or something like that. Using that system, you can filter down through all your ideas to the ones that you actually think would work and the ones that you want to make. The problem is, at first, when you're doing this writing down 10 ideas thing, it's really hard and it takes a lot of focus, so I would recommend not just doing it in a room with a bunch of people or with your phone next to you. I would really recommend going into a quiet place where you don't have any distractions because thinking of 10 ideas, even if they're random ideas that might be bad or good, it's still hard. And this next tip is probably something that a lot of people don't like. It's you don't have to be original. And I know just by the sound of that, it sounds like the opposite of what you're trying to do by creating something in the first place. But just let me explain. You could create something that's just what you think or your twist on another subject somebody else already covered. Not everything you make has to be this revolutionary idea that no one's thought of before. It can just be your unique opinion or your unique perspective on something that other people have already heard before. Sometimes creativity is about putting pieces together, it's not about making new ones. Albert Einstein once said, creativity is seeing what others see and thinking what no one else thought. It's about taking something that already exists and finding outlooks on it and perspectives that people didn't think of before because the chances of you making something new and revolutionary are very low, but the chances of you seeing something that no one else saw before, those are pretty high. Not that you're always gonna magically see things no one else saw before, but your mind is different than everyone else's. Well, I hope that helped a little, and I'll see you in the next one.